In this Picmonic, we cover the pathways of lipid metabolism and ketogenesis, which are represented as the lips with metal balls and key genie. First, we'll start with lipid metabolism, which is composed of catabolic processes that generate energy, and anabolic processes that create biologically important molecules, such as triglycerides, phospholipids, second messengers, local hormones, and ketone bodies. The process begins with an important molecule of metabolism, called acetyl-CoA, shown as the seagull. And in the process of lipid metabolism, acetyl-CoA requires a biotin cofactor, the bionic tin man, to undergo carboxylation. Through the activity of acetyl-CoA carboxylase, which is dependent on this biotin cofactor, acetyl-CoA is carboxylated to malonyl-CoA. Malonyl-CoA, the melon, is then used for the synthesis of fatty acids, the bacon acid lemon, which are then converted into triglycerides, the TAG on the three bacon-wrapped acidic lemons. These triglycerides can further be broken down into glycerol, the glitter roll. At this point, glycerol can be utilized in the glycolysis pathway, but this can occur only after it is converted to dihydroxyacetone phosphate, or DHAP, depicted as the dapper dog in a hat. Alternatively, acetyl-CoA can be converted by the enzyme thiolase into acetoacetyl-CoA, illustrated as two seagulls together, and move into the mevalinate pathway. Acetoacetyl-CoA is acted upon by HMG-CoA synthase to form HMG-CoA, represented as the hummingbird with a coin purse. Next in this process, the enzyme HMG-CoA reductase, the hummingbird coin purse and red duck, catalyzes the conversion of HMG-CoA to mevalinate, shown as my valentine. This step is the rate-limiting step of cholesterol synthesis, and this makes HMG-CoA reductase a good target for pharmaceuticals, which then work to block the formation of mevalinate, eventually blocking cholesterol synthesis. Once mevalinate is formed, it is then converted to cholesterol, the cholesterol burger, concluding the lipid metabolism pathway. Now, don't forget that many of the substrates of lipid metabolism can also take part in ketogenesis. HMG-CoA, rather than being part of the lipid metabolism pathway, where it is turned into mevalinate, can also be converted into acetoacetate, the seagull ass, a ketone. Acetoacetate can then be converted into beta-hydroxybutyrate, another ketone, represented as the beta fish with water and butter. So, let's quickly summarize lipid metabolism and ketogenesis. Starting with acetyl-CoA, two processes can take place, either lipid metabolism, leading to glycerol and cholesterol formation, or it can take part in ketogenesis. In lipid metabolism, acetyl-CoA requires a biotin cofactor in order to be converted into malonyl-CoA. Malonyl-CoA is used in the formation of fatty acids, which can then be combined with glycerol to create triglycerides. This glycerol is then converted to dihydroxyacetone phosphate, or DHAP, to be used in the glycolysis pathway. Alternatively, in lipid metabolism, acetyl-CoA can be converted into acetoacetyl-CoA. This then turns into HMG-CoA, and the enzyme HMG-CoA reductase turns HMG-CoA into mevalinate. Mevalinate is then used to form cholesterol. Now, HMG-CoA can also be used in ketogenesis, rather than lipid metabolism. For this to happen, HMG-CoA is turned into the ketone acetoacetate. This can be converted to another ketone as well, beta-hydroxybutyrate. Lipid metabolism and ketogenesis describes the process of lipid synthesis, storage, and degradation. But let's think of it like foodie heaven, where lip licking deliciousness arrives on a sparkling roll, love ends in a cheeseburger, and your waiter is a genie that holds the key to your wildest wishes. Today's special is Seagull, prepared by the Iron Chef himself. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using space repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with, to make sure you study what you need when you need to. While you're there, check out the rest of the Cellular Metabolism Picmonics. We have a huge selection of the content you need to remember. Everything from glycolysis to fructose metabolism, urea cycle, and much, much more. You'll see how hundreds of thousands of students like yourself have saved time and had fun doing it. So you can lock in everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and space repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.